back at the test rig again. Now, uh, this is the uh, fingerprint test followed immediately by the wear test. So for the fingerprint test, uh, I'm going to do pretty much what it sounds like. First, I'm going to lock the lathe uh, rotationally because I'm going to be putting my finger or my thumb in this case right square on the top. I want to make sure I can find the place to look at again. And also you see right here, this is a heater. It's a little cool out here, but the main reason is to uh, to get the thing up, say, around 80 degrees or 85 degrees or something, just to simulate a little more uh, extreme temperature than 70 degrees. And I've had this on for three or four minutes and I'm gonna shut it off now. All right, um, so I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna stick my finger right square dead in the center here, my thumb, really, really hard. Much harder than any kind of thumbprint you'd ever get, I think, from uh, people casually handling an object you turn. And the same thing here. This is the pure microcrystalline. This is the um, Renaissance wax. And this is the Carnauba wax. So I've got them all about the same time limit. Now let's see if I can actually see a fingerprint on there and that's probably going to be the hardest thing right there. See if I can get a side view or well I don't see anything there <laughs> and I don't see anything there. Now these are both Renaissance wax these two. There shouldn't be anything because that's one of its uh, Claims to fame. We won't get fingerprints on it. Let's see what we got here. Aha! It's very faint, but I can see a fingerprint right there. Actually, it's about half of a fingerprint. But it is there. Okay, that's interesting. And I should be able to, of course, rub it right away. Yeah, not too surprising. But nevertheless, the two Renaissance waxes here did not take a fingerprint. Whereas the Carnuba wax did. Just want to check again. I want to make sure. Do not see any fingerprints there. Okay. That's, uh, that's good to know. Not sure if that's a totally fair test. It's not the same as uh, sitting out in a room for a year or two with people occasionally handling it uh, once a week or months, once a month. So, uh, let's try the next test here. And this is the wear test. And this is uh, even more difficult than, than the fingerprint test, really. And what I've got here is a mixture of uh, two drops of 3-in-1 oil, some very fine sanding dust from around the workshop, a little bit coarser uh, sawdust from uh, my bandsaw, it's probably some uh, walnut. And then a little bit of uh, sawdust off of here when I don't know what it was. So I'm going to get some of this on my fingers, run the lathe at a low speed, say around 400, and just take this on my fingers and clamp it down on there and do the same thing here and here. Then I'll stop it, see if there's any detectable... Uh, deterioration of the finish. Eh, hitting right at 321, that's good enough. I want it to be slow. Gonna get a little bit of this stuff on my fingers here. So that my fingers are just kind of dirty. I'm not gonna try and grind it in. And I'm gonna apply it right in the middle here. And we'll give it about 15 seconds. Okay, that's for the Renaissance wax. Get some more dirt and stuff on my fingers here. I've also got a little bit of outside dirt. <laughs> okay, and we're going to start now. All right, and now for the Canuba wax, a little bit more dirt and dust and tiny bit of oil and give it 15 seconds here. All right, that's 15 seconds. Simulating undoubtedly at least 14 years of wear. Take a look. In each case, I put my finger right in the middle. And you get my close examination flashlight. 
and take a look along here. So really what I'm looking for is any patch in the middle here that's not quite as brilliant or nice looking as the ones on the side. So I do not see any evidence of wear there. Go over here to the Pure Renaissance Wax. Well, there's a little bit of dirt on there that I left. Don't see anything there. Down here on the Carnuba Wax. I don't see a thing. In other words, all three seem to still be about the same. The, the little bit of uh, dirt and so forth that I put on there didn't seem to affect it. I'm going to add a little more oil. If I could get uh, a little more oil off my skin, it would be much better. But uh, unfortunately, I went and took a shower today. <laughs> what the hell was I thinking, really? Okay. Now this time, I'm definitely kind of dirty here. Going to do the same thing. And that is 15 seconds. Let me wipe my fingers off. See if we can see anything here. All right, once again, I was really right in the center here on the Renaissance wax. Don't see a thing. The pure micro crystalline wax. Don't see any deterioration of the finish. Carnuba wax. Uh, Carnuba wax, I can see a little bit right down here. Very, very little bit, but there's uh, some little uh, lines or something in there, maybe that were curved in there by pieces of dust. It's very minor, so I can't say it's a tremendous thing, but it is there. I'm going to try one more thing while I'm at it. I've got sawdust all over the floor, and I hate to let it go to waste, so I'm going to turn this up to about, let's say, 800. All right, I'm at 810. I'm going to grab a handful of this sawdust. This is this is fairly coarse sawdust, and this is uh, some Quina, some Purple Heart, uh, some um, what's the other ones I used? Red Heart and some Paydock. I'm just going to hold my hand over this all along the way, and uh, really just try and make it dirty. And I think I've succeeded, succeeded in making it dirty. So before I clean it off, let's just have a look. Okay, now you can see it's not bright as quite as bright a shine, at least right here and right here. Renaissance wax and pure microcrystalline wax is not quite as bright a shine. Uh, oddly enough, the carnauba wax is a little bit brighter. So I'm going to get some more sawdust like this and repeat the step. Put a little pressure on it. Now, I'm going to do what I didn't do before. I, uh, I'm going to just uh, take a piece of a clean paper towel and just run over the whole thing. So, if this were really uh, something you had finished in your house, got dirty you might pick it up and dust it occasionally maybe even wax it again i don't have any wax on this again but i just want to clean this off give it a little bit of a buff and let's take a look at it again all right that looks pretty good i don't think well i don't know this section and this section about the same degree of uh shiny this section might be a little bit shinier. I do believe it is. I believe this section is a tiny bit shinier. And this, both of these are about the same. Now I'm going to grab a piece of cloth. I'm going to go up to 1200. And about 1200. This is a piece of denim here. And I'm just going to buff it one more time. Get a close-up on it, or a brighter light on it, and a reflection down the end. 
Okay, those, those are really back to their original brilliance. So that's good. The, uh, the dirt and the oil and stuff like that, uh, although it might have affected them a little bit, after I buffed it up again, didn't have any problem. All right, well, that's, uh, that's good news. So Renaissance wax, uh, pure microcrystalline wax, and canuber wax all pretty much came up the same in those kind of simulated wear testing. Now, those aren't very good wear testing. I got to admit that. Um, but it's something anyway. I can't wait around three or four years to, to see how it really ends up. <laughs> All righty. Um, next test is going to be moisture resistance. Mm -hmm.